I'm here at the front door. I'm here at my front door, my friend's house that I put the GoFundMe for. And if you want to look, here, there's the front door, right? Look at his, look at the ceiling over his front door, all the way through the blue tarp. Okay? It's all caved in. The trussets up there. Up here, the trussets are rotted, ready to fall apart. That's the whole house. You can see the blue tarp. See the holes all the way through. You see all the wood? Gone. Right over me. You see? You see it there? Huh? You see the blue up there? That's all the way through. There's no ceiling over the front door. Here's the front door, see? Of his house. Okay, for all the namesayers and all the doubters, they call me scammers and call me whatever with no proof. You know what? When you have a clean conscience, you don't have to worry. You know, again, I'll send you the video from the top so you can see where we put a plywood up there on the other way. Uh, you know, that's the situation we got here right now. And I'll get more photos and video here on the inside when I can. All right. Ruben the Cuban, I'm going to go in and show you the condition of the house. Right there, my friend's probably a hoarder. It's pretty bad here, but you can see it. everything's collapsed. You know, everything, everywhere, falling apart. Can't even maneuver in the house. I'm afraid I'm going to even walk in here. Okay, you can see damage everywhere. You see the deterioration there, like I mentioned. Walk through here. All the corners, all the drywalls, everywhere, damaged. Okay, you see what I'm saying? How you can see the sky all the way through? Hmm? And see, it's me. It's not uh, some other fake person taking the video because since I've been accused from uh, unscrupulous people that have no proof of things, I wanted to clear the record. Again, you see? You see everything? You see the destruction everywhere? You know? Th this is the condition of the house. Everywhere. It's pretty bad. Yeah. Wherever you look, it's falling apart. The ru two russets are back there. Are broken. You know, I'm no expert when it comes to housing, you know, I'm not an expert, but I'm definitely somebody that has a decent amount of common sense. And um, <laughs> for the people who don't know, just a quick little background on the situation here. Ruben made an account, made a GoFundMe account where he asked for uh, 100K. He wants to raise 100K to help his friend's home be rebuilt, basically. Debbie, the woman that he went on 90 Day Fiance with, in fact, the woman that who recruited him to go on there with him. If you ever seen that video, I highly recommend you watch it. She came out to say that uh, Ruben was scamming people, saying that this 100K is ridiculous, that this is the first time she's heard about him having a friend that needs a home. And uh, if anything, he's scamming people and therefore people shouldn't be, you know, support him. Despite the fact that she's got a whole website where she's asking people for 500K. Yeah, she, she wants half a million of people. But yet she wanted to, to you know, pretty much, uh, you know, a slam Ruben for one in a hundred K to help his friend out. So this is Ruben right now making a video to prove that he's not trying to scam people. And his friend really does have a house that does need to be repaired. And listen, like I said before, I may not be an expert but at, at, at housing, but uh, my common sense tells me that this home right here is finished. It's done. This, this house needs to be demolished. There's no repairing this. Well, no, there is always a repairing it, but... 100k to repair that i don't really think even the 100k is even going to be enough to repair that home to be honest with you but you will understand what i'm saying the more we go for the video because you are going to see other parts of the house where you're just going to be like bro right now you're just looking delusional you may not be a scammer but you're looking hella delusional you know so i will say this i mean for me personally i never had the impression that ruben was trying to be a scammer in the first place but um, i will stick to what i said though and what i said was that for me personally i don't think anybody sh uh, should be making gofundme accounts you know in my opinion just because somebody's been on a tv show or whatnot it doesn't mean that they should be in a position to make a gofundme account to expect people to give them money because like i said before if any one of you who may want to get, put money forward, if you make a GoFundMe account, how do you promote yourself? Do you know what I mean? Like, no one's going to give you money. You know what I mean? If they do, it's going to be who else? And I always say that these people that you give money to, they ever give it to you if, they're, if, the, if the shoe is the other way, other way around? You see what I'm saying? But that's just my standpoint on it personally, on the GoFundMe. And plus, I'm old school. You know, I come from a generation, you know, where... I was washed. Well, I say I just come from childhood. Should I say you know where I had to earn everything? You know what I mean. Like I couldn't, I couldn't beg no one for money. You know what I mean. Like you know, I could, no one was there to give me handouts. I had to literally, you know, find ways to make money, find ways to build myself, find ways to to make things work in life. You see what I'm saying? Okay. And I still generally believe that. I do generally believe that in the world that we live in now. A lot of people aren't as strong as what I'm used to because a lot of people expect handouts rather than, you know, the good old, you know, 
find a way to really work and grow after find a way to fix whatever your problems are um so that that's just my standpoint that's why for me personally i'm not really all about the whole go funny accounts or any kind of accounts but <laughs> my apologies let's share the moment where i was just gonna die there because i've got i've got a cold right now <laughs> but let's continue and uh yeah we'll uh <clears throat> we'll get into it broken don't want to go too far around here. Don't want to fall on something. But again, this is the condition. Oh, that's rotted. Ready to fall apart. Oh, he's let it go for too long. See all the blue stuff up there. Again, everywhere. I don't want to violate his privacy, but it's very, but whatever. Here we go. Another, another, where everything's rotted. Everything's rotted everywhere. Everything's rotted everywhere. Please, sunshine, Florida sunshine, right through your, right through your ceiling, everywhere you look. And, and we've tried to cover some stuff already. I can't. I guess this, this is the garage, but I, I'm not gonna go in there too much. But the door, the, the door, water damage everywhere. Look at the mold everywhere. Like I told you, it's not just a ceiling anymore. It's not just a regular roof like a person's house. Okay, there's a lot of these trusses. These, these are okay, but back there and back that way, all the trusses are rotted. You know, I can't even get, I don't even want to go in the bedroom and stuff, but maybe I can, I don't know. I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to fall in here. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the condition of everything. How, how serious it is everywhere. Do you not see it? Okay, a picture's worth a thousand words. A video's worth a lot more. Like I said. I mean, listen, I agree. A picture is worth a thousand words and a video's worth a whole lot more. But this video is literally telling me personally that, uh, yeah. This 100k ain't gonna do nothing for this home. This this home is done. Your friend is better off just finding a new place to live, to be honest with you, Jeremy, some way, somehow, because this ain't it. This really, really ain't it. Um pfft, damn. This is crazy. This is actually crazy. Like I said before, <clears throat> in my opinion, he's looking more delusional to think that you know this is gonna work. Um, <laughs> but listen, I appreciate it. I appreciate the efforts of him coming out to prove a point, to prove that he's not a liar, to prove that he's not a scammer, you know, to make sure that people know that what Debbie's saying is incorrect and uh, people shouldn't believe what Debbie's saying. Do you know what I mean? Um, and it, it is sad though, because this is a woman and in case you haven't seen the video, this is a woman that literally recruited him from a day to day site. Um, you know, if you haven't seen the video that I made already about her recruiting him to be on the show, which is so freaking wrong. You know, it's, it's it's crazy that she met someone who I guess is an innocent person. You know, let's just, I'm going to run with that, you know, and uh, want him to go on the show with her. So therefore she can continue being in the show and she can continue earning money from the show. And then once it's all said and done, she then decides to, you know, pretty much uh, ruin this man's name, to ruin this man's image. And it, it, it is sad. It is sad that, that she has done this to someone that is literally random to her, someone that she doesn't even know, you know, to that extent, just as I'm saying. Honestly, what Debbie has uh, had done by, you know, chatting absolute nonsense about this man is absolutely disgusting and despicable, to be honest with you. She should be absolutely ashamed of herself. And to be fair, so should be her son, personally. I mean, don't get me wrong. Obviously. I, I I generally believe that he knows his mum's attitude. He knows what his mum gets up to. He has kind of spoke about it a little bit in some of the episodes where he does say, "Oh, I know what my mum is like when it comes to dating. I know the type of man that she goes for." So, to be honest with you, she's definitely got a track record of uh, you know preying on certain people, and then obviously trying to make those people look like as if they are the villain in her story. When in reality, she's the only villain that's ever been in her story. If you ask me personally, at least from what we have seen thus far. So I do feel so for, for, so sorry for Ruben in, in that aspect. You see what I'm saying? Dead. This is the condition that this man's living. Okay, I'm, I'm doing another video here. Here's a video of the house and the damage you can see everywhere, as I, as, I, as I mentioned, where everything is destroyed, okay, from the water damage everywhere, okay, including the trusses up in the top, up in there that holds the whole roof, okay? The damage is everywhere. Every, everywhere you see stuff falling, okay? You see all the way over there, there's a light there in the ceiling, and you see over there, that's the, right there. That's the whole, all the way through, all the way through to the sky. That's the blue tarp on top. Okay, the damage is severe everywhere. Okay, wherever I walk, okay, you see water everywhere. Everywhere, okay? Damage everywhere, okay? Again, damage everywhere. You see now what I'm talking about? This is not just a little $30,000 replace, the shingles and the roof, okay? It's a serious issue with the whole house has to be redone, all the drywall inside, okay? You, you see over there, 
You see the sky, everything over there, except for this carpet. That, that's a piece of four by eight plywood that's there to cover all that hole that I took in the drone footage. Just so you can see all the damage that's going on there. Okay, look at, the, look at, look at there, all the way through the sky, blue sky. Okay, all the damage. Do you not, okay, well, there you go, folks. You know, I'm not a scammer. I've never scammed anybody. I'm a compassionate man trying to help somebody that's in really bad need. The front door. So, again, hard for me to walk in here with all the stuff that he has everywhere. Okay, the light's in the way, but you can see the damage again. All right, when you open the front door, you can, you can still see. There you go, see? I mean, bro, I want to say this though. Your friend's got issues with hoarding. I feel like I just watched the whole episode of hoarding, to be honest with you. That, 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 pff, damn. That, your, your friend needs a new home and also needs to learn to not hoard things. I hope the home gets demolished with all the things in there, to be honest with you, and you can have a fresh start because this ain't it. Oh boy. It was a tough watch, I'm not going to lie to you, like, because that, that is a messy, messy place. Oh God, I, I can't stand hoarding. It's just, ugh. Yeah. I like space in homes, you know? You know what they say, right? When you walk into your room or your house, if it's nice and tidy in this space, it, it allows you to have a clear mind. But when you walk in and it's messy and there's everything everywhere, it messes up your mind that, you know, it really makes your mind just uh, disorganized. You know what I mean? And uh, watching that just made my mind disorganized. Ooh, damn, like crazy, 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 crazy. Well, listen, you've seen the house. Obviously, Ruben wanted to prove a point. Good and him for from from proving the point that he's not a scammer. Fantastic, you know what I mean. Um, <clears throat> but I really do think that uh, the house just needs to be taken down. To be honest, the hundred k is probably not even going to do nothing. It's barely even going to scratch, you know, what's needed. And obviously, I don't even know what the prices are like in America for, you know, or even in the state this is at for obviously a house like that to be fixed. You know what I mean. But uh, even if you fixed it, ah, uh, yeah. It'd probably be quicker just to find a new place to be honest if you get a mortgage or something new you know what i mean but that's just that but nonetheless though if i was uh ruben's friend to be honest with you i don't know who his friend is then i old he is don't know what his position is but uh his friend you know better start to look for other ways to you know make some money to be able to you know get a new home or something you see what i'm saying listen in this life as far as i'm concerned i'm going to say this you know i just believe that people should definitely uh find a way to you know uh, uh, earn certain things and make things work, you know, to, with, with the two they have in, in, in front of them, do you know what I mean? And that's just that, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I mean, I did it and I came from, you know, it doesn't matter where I came from, right? But it is what it is, I did it. <laughs> I mean, it took me it took me a while to, 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 to get to this stage on YouTube, you know what I mean? Like, I've been doing this for like, oh, too long, but life goes on. Either way, with that being said, let me know what you're thinking down below in the comment section and uh, we can mostly talk about it. And uh, yeah, like, hopefully his friend figures it out. Honestly, do generally hope his friend figures out, and uh, uh, and I really hope that um, uh, Ruben finds a way to finally get away from you know this stigma that Debbie's created for him uh, against him. Do you know what I mean? And uh, hopefully, he can um, rebuild his reputation and his name because it's a shame that she has pretty much you know uh, made this man look like a complete fool, and it's, uh, it's 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 not nice. It's not nice at all. It's really not nice. But nonetheless, though, don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, peace.